now in my pastor's house. Have we not been doing it before? Even if I you have to give the man of God. Stop, 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 stop. I don't like that. Let, just, let's, let's, let's Godwin. Godwin. Yes, Somebody at the door. Good day, Daddy. Wow, oh, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Hello, my brother. How are you? You're welcome. Please have your seat. You're thank welcome. Thank you, Daddy. Wow. <laughs> Daddy, meet my fiance, Mr. Bob. Wow, so you're welcome. Did, did I hear you say he's your fiance? Yes, Daddy. He's my fiance. We've been together for seven years now. Seven years? Yes, sir. That's a long time. How come we've never met him? Daddy. <laughs> He decided we keep the relationship private. We just wanted it to be between the both of us and some family members that we are aware of. Are you serious? So you've decided now that you're getting married? Yes, sir. Last weekend, we performed the traditional rites, sir. Ah, you've already done the traditional rites? Yes, sir. Ah, and none of us in the church know about this. So it was all his decision. He just wanted to keep it private. What about your own opinion about it? Didn't you think it was right to at least carry your pastors along at least we Sir, could? Sir, like they say, the husband is the head and whatever he says stands. So, just had to let it slide and obey him also. Okay, Bob, do, does your pastor know that you guys are getting married? Mm, I, not yet. But I thought you said you had the music director in your church. <laughs> Yes, sir. He is the music director, but Shidima is calling again. Take your call. How many times have I asked you to use my privacy? Phones are private. Phones are private. Hello? Hello? Jane? Sir? What was that? Sir, I'm always the cause of all this. Did you see the, the way he reacted? Yes, sir. Is that the person you say you want to marry? Sir, he's not always like this. He just have little anger issues. I mean, from, from what I just saw, this kind of person will hit you. He will beat you at home. Sometimes he does that. If You mean he, he's been beating you already? Yes, sir. Just a few times, like six times or so. And I'm always the cause. It's not like he just wake up one morning and start beating. I'm always because I'm very but stubborn. But you know that under no circumstance should a man hit a woman. And these are what I call early warning signals. Yes, sir. But then, my actions deserve corrections. He has spoken to me several times about <sighs> some of my actions. And I'm very stubborn. And I don't easily take corrections. So you, you really think that with this kind of character, you will be able to cope with it for the rest of your life? Because marriage is not just... It's not just an event. I will try. It's a lifetime. I will try, sir, and I pray God changes him too. Time. You know, you know the reality about marriage, and that is the fact that whatever you see before marriage, that's what you're going to see even after marriage. In fact, sometimes even worse. You know, because the point is, he's not going to turn a new leaf after your on your wedding day. Now he's even paid the bride price, and the point is, you. I mean. Does any pastor in the church know apart from me? Does any other pastor know? No, sir. No pastor is aware. He, he was supposed to inform his pastor, but he had some issues in his church and he had to leave the church. I guess they found out that he was having some affairs with some women in the church, so he just had to leave. And the person that called now, is you're saying, is one of the people she's, he's having affairs with? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I know how Chidima... He's one of her, one of his exes, but I don't know why he's still calling her. He actually told me that but he I was told, done I told, with I her. Thought, I thought you said you people have been together for seven years. I mean, if in, if in seven years you've been dating and he's still having, I mean, I would call him cheating with other girls, how do you now want to proceed to marry such a person? Daddy, I'm just banking on God to, help, to change him. Just 
I'm trying, I've been trying to talk to him also. You know, but... Jane, a, a lot of single people have made lifetime decisions just because they feel they are in love. But it's obvious that the foundation is just not right, you know. And the fact that you've even proceeded to go through the traditional rites, like you said, you've he's paid the dowry, and then no pastor in your church knows. Because you know, your pastors are supposed to provide a guide. They are, so to speak, you know, supposed to help you make the right decision and the right choices. They are not top party people, you know. And I mean, coming to talk to me now, how do I, <laughs> you know, I really feel that something is really not right about this, you know, especially with this kind of display right in my presence. Um, uh, Jane, I really think you guys, you need to slow down, super slow down. All the signs are there. It just shows that you guys are really not ready. You know, and I don't think you should just jump into marriage without being ready. Especially with, you know. Sorry, sir. What did I miss, sir? Bobby, did, did you say you received a business call? Yes, business call. My business associate from Turkey. So we had to. About. Jane just told me that it was Janet that called you. I mean, sorry, your Chidima that called you. Chidima, that Chidima is one of your exes. Yes, you said Chidima is your ex. When did you become business partners? You had to bring uh, family issues to this thing. Bobby, you know, I, I really think that you guys are not ready for marriage. I think you're not ready for marriage. I think you really need to come for counseling. You need to be counseled. Daddy, yes, you have to talk to him about that. He seems so busy, like he doesn't have any time for anything. We don't pray together, nothing. And you please uh, need to talk to him. And Jane also mentioned that you have beaten her a few times already. Wow, wow. You, you should get a camera and just video everything that happens in the house and get it here. Sir. Bobby, I think you guys are not ready for wedding, for your wedding or marriage. No. I think you should slow down. Slow down? Yes. Or oh, not ready? Yes. Uh, she, she said she wants a 20 million naira wedding and to be event planner, we've paid 80%, non refundable. I don't think you can go back on this. I've, I've performed the traditional rights and her parents accept me, everybody accept me. True or false? True or false? I really think you guys should slow down. Fine, you have spent a lot of money, but with what I'm seeing, I do not think you're ready for marriage. Marriage is a covenant. You don't want to go into a covenant when it has the potential of, you know, not lasting with some of these differences and issues that I'm seeing on the table. If you ask my opinion, I feel you should put a break, you know, to all your current plans and arrangements. I really think you should do so. And uh, perhaps we need to set up a counseling for two of you because yes, you've sir. not been counseled by anybody. Yes, sir. With all due respect, sir, um, the main reason we came here was for the date so we can relate to the event planner and you know, with you. I can see that it's not working as well. Very sorry, sir. Um, Jane. Just five minutes, I'll be in the car. Bob. Bob, you need to listen to my pastor. Bobby. Bob. Bob. Bobby. Did you see that? That was rude. And the point is, if he can be rude to your pastor, the point is, he can, he will, he'll be more than rude to you. He will not respect you. So you already have a foundation of a flawed character. I know you're talking about having lost seven years. Seven years, yes, it's a long time. But the point is, you don't want to invest the rest of your life to something that you know is going to fail. But Daddy, how do I get out of this kind of The situation? simple thing is, you just need to let him know that you know what? You feel you guys are not comp compatible because right now, from what I can see, I feel that you are walking into a mistake. The seven years you have invested, God can restore it. You don't want to make 
a marital decision just because you spent seven years with him and he's exhibiting this kind of rude character he's been beating you he's dishonest right now he said he was doing a business call and now it was one of his exes that was calling and he walks out on your pastor all of that is enough to convince you that you know if you marry him you're going to it's going to be a marriage of crisis and this is really what you know the purpose of counseling is all about if for instance you have spoken to me or any of your pastors seven years ago when you met him you would not have invested all this time and now it looks as though you've wasted time this is why it's always important to talk to your pastor your spiritual leaders because they have you know a reservoir of wisdom which you can tap into if you don't tap into that reservoir of wisdom how would you be able to make the right choices every good pastor wants his you know members his sons his daughters to be married there's nobody interested in stopping his children from getting married but it's not being married at all cost you want to be married to somebody who you know you know when you are married to him you will live happily you'll be you know you your marriage will be one of joy if you ask me I feel you should just you know end this relationship because honestly speaking fine he has paid your bride price but <laughs> it's better to tell your parents that look I mean the kind of character that you are going into because it's really all about his character now and God can not change people if they are not willing to be changed and from our previous you know conversation here you you mentioned that he's not even interested in praying with you you guys don't pray together so how is he going to change you know so i really feel that you should just tell him that you know what you're not comfortable to continue with him he needs to give you some time you know and you take out some time to pray we're going to meet again and spend some time to to, to guide and counsel you and you should do so now don't waste don't waste more time don't feel like okay well i mean you just came to see me to, to get a date and then the marriage now ends no the point is you don't want to make a mistake that's our objective we will prevent more marital crisis we will prevent more you know issues if we make the right choices and the foundation is right you know so don't 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 worry you know i believe that god will take care of you emotionally you've invested Amen. a lot of time but he will restore the years that you have lost Amen. in jesus name Amen. thank you very much daddy okay. daddy i think i need to go now it's five minutes sir. all right just go don't don't respond to him if he if he says anything to you just keep quiet yes, and then we'll, let's meet in church on sunday yes, thank you very much daddy. all right god bless you thank you very god, much god bless you Thank you very much for joining us on today's episode of ABCs of Relationship. Very important key lessons to take away for those of you who are single and planning to get married. It is absolutely important to carry along your spiritual parents. If you have a pastor, if you belong to a church, if you're a Christian, don't just make decisions of who you want to get married to without seeking counsel from your pastors and carrying them along in your decision making. It's absolutely important. Secondly, never overlook the character flaws that could literally wreck your marriage if you end up marrying the wrong person. It is so, so important not to marry just because you feel you've invested a lot of time or you've invested a lot into the relationship. When you can see the early warning signals that that relationship is doomed to fail. Now, one key thing is learn to give it time learn to you know take out some time seek counsel together and try to fix things before you go ahead to marry because marriage is a covenant and you don't want to go into a covenant without being sure that that covenant will be a success now pastor Emmanuel Ogbechi here i want to thank you for joining us now keep tuning in to this channel we believe that this series are changing your life remember to share the videos with your friends and your loved ones till i come your way again god bless you richly and bye-bye.